welcome to an all new Lay It Omni. Allow me to lay it on you. Hey guys, welcome to day 24 of me uploading every day for the rest of my life. Before I get into anything, I just want to say thank you so much again for the massive wave of support recently, guys. This morning, I woke up to discover that we hit 150,000 subscribers on this channel. It has taken me a million years to get there, but somehow we finally did it. The sudden influx of new subscribers has been crazy, and I'm not going to lie, I've been feeling like super anxious about it. <laughs> a lot of new faces, but this is what I asked for, and you guys actually showed up, so thank you so much. Oh, and my last video, okay, I was talking about Avatar The Last Airbender, and I called Toph Toph. Okay, I'm still new. Okay, I'm still a newbie <laughs> to the game. I'm watching Avatar The Last Airbender for the first time. Please, y'all were, were more mad about me <laughs> mispronouncing Toph's name than the actual video itself. So <laughs> y'all are insane. Anyway, today I don't want to talk about politics, okay? In the past week, I've made two videos talking about politics and that's basically like my annual politics quota. I know a lot of you guys are anxious about the country and what's going to happen with the election. So let's take a break and escape from all this drama today for a bit. And what better way to escape reality is there than to talk about people who aren't even virtually real. Now look, I don't know if you guys are aware, but there's this concept floating around called virtual influences, okay? It's it's huge and it's really weird. It's basically computer generated personas that act like human beings. They have Twitter accounts, they have social lives, they have anxiety, they have feelings. I mean, it's all made up, but it's all made up in a way to be presented as real. And I'm not 100% certain how I feel about it yet, especially considering the fact that companies are beginning to invest millions, if not billions of dollars into this entire movement. And I found this out because on Twitter, I usually ask you guys to let me know if there are any topics y'all wanna talk about, okay? You know, just in case I'm missing something big or something. Something important. And this one person kept asking me to talk about this new League of Legends character. I think her name is Seraphine. Apparently she's a new champion that was released for, you know, League of Legends, the MOBA game. And the drama that was stirring around her from what I originally saw is that she was nearly an identical copycat to a current existing champion in the game named Sona. So that's what I thought the whole thing was about. And honestly, I don't really care about the end game mechanics of a new champion being similar to another one. Like it's not really worth discussing. I don't, I don't really care about the game like that. But this morning I finally looked a little bit deeper and discovered that Seraphine has her own Twitter account. Now, that's not too crazy. You know, I'm aware of brands like Mr. Peanut, Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club, or, you know, characters that don't exist, clearly pretending to exist, even though we know they don't exist, having a Twitter account sometimes for the memes, you know? But when I took a closer look at Seraphine's Twitter account, I started realizing that this was way more than just some kind of meme. Like, this is legit the new wave of 2020 marketing and branding. So let's pause, okay? Let me just stop you right here. Let me just warn some of you guys, this is about to get really weird if you don't know what I'm about to talk about. Not like invasive or, you know, like not, not trigger warnings or anything like that. It's not going to be that crazy. But if you don't know about virtual influencers and this is your first time hearing about them, you might unearth a new feeling that you've never felt before. Kind of like the first time I flipped to channel 98 on my TV, you know, at midnight, I found a blurry scene of two naked people having sex. Okay. It, it kind of caught me off guard and I wasn't expecting anything like that. That's what might happen here. So let's look at Seraphine, okay? It says she's a songwriter plus producer, professional daydreamer, you know, something a real person might put here. I'm not gonna show you her entire Twitter because I'm too lazy for all that editing so you can look for yourselves, but I, but basically her tweets consist of her tweeting in a way that she's a real living person living in this real world doing real people thing. Her background is that she wants to join KDA, which is a virtual girl group that consists of four other characters from the League of Legends world. Ari, Akali, Evelyn, and Kaisa and her Twitter over the past few months consisted of that journey. However, people on the internet started to get really weirded out and even offended when Seraphine started tweeting things like this. We're going to Shanghai in two days and it's finally settling in. All at once I've been working so hard and I've been trying my best to love myself, but I still can't find the confidence I need. I'm realizing that I can't do this alone and maybe I need to be the one to ask for help. So could you give me some encouraging words? I need something to believe in right now. Due to this tweet, some people were suggesting that the Riot team behind her campaign was basically using mental health strategies struggles as a way to market her character. After all, she's not real, so when you're giving her those words of encouragement to make her feel better, it's only marketing the campaign for her character. And screw it, I said I was too lazy to show more tweets, but it's just way too interesting to not show you guys, so here's some more. This tweet says, the secret to good skin is love. And it's a picture of Seraphine in a bathroom. Again, none of this is real. <laughs> You know, just showing skincare treatment, basically. Look at me, I'm a rising star, not rising for practice, though. Dad sent me this crying face emoji, and it's a picture of what would be her dad with, you know, his own laptop looking at a picture of her with a cat that, like, again, 
It's all fabricated. It's not her dad. It, it, you see what I'm saying? It's kind of weird. A day to myself, I will never forget the amazing, I'm not sure what that Chinese symbol means. But in this tweet, she's literally taking pictures like she's in another country. Like she's actually in China eating food. <laughs> Like, bro, last one, last one, okay? She makes a tweet that says, look how far we've come, you and I. So Seraphine is showing how her life has progressed from when she was a little girl who liked music and had a cat, and now she's older and her cat has gotten older, and it's, that's, that's what's happening. So guys, okay, let's stop talking about Seraphine, okay? You guys get the concept by now. While you swallow that pill of things I never knew existed, I'm gonna hand you another potential slap in the nuts. Lil Michaela is a 19-year-old virtual influencer that has made $12 million this year. That's right, a person who doesn't even exist is a millionaire and has managed to make more money in a year than some people in a lifetime. Apparently, Lil Michaela has 3 million followers on Instagram and even makes music on Spotify. And this isn't just her. There are hundreds of virtual influencers that are generating millions of dollars of revenue by simply pretending to be a human. Apparently, businesses have figured out how to make people who aren't real more relatable than actual human beings. And you know, if you think about it and you stop and you just think about it, it makes sense. You can give these virtual influencers whatever personality you want. You know, they can travel wherever you want. They can be in any setting or any environment that you want. They can think or feel whatever it is that you want them to think or feel. They don't age, they don't die. I mean, you, you can make them age and you can make them die. <laughs> they keep all the aspects of being a human, but then just take out the weaknesses and bam, you've got like the perfect brand influencer. So guys, let's dial it back, okay? What does this all mean? Okay, let's let's sit back and let's reflect. Businesses are creating human-like deities, aka virtual influencers, and these influencers are essentially collecting money to pass back along to the businesses. I don't know how to feel about that. Like, <laughs> like it feels disingenuous and manipulative, you know? Like, I, I know they're not real, I, I, you know, but I know anime isn't real. I mean, I know that Mufasa isn't real. And when Mufasa died, that didn't stop me from crying tears like he was a real living object, you know? So I guess in this case, businesses are basically tapping further into the concept that real people enjoy attaching themselves to anything that makes them feel good. It's a lot to unpack. I'm just now getting used to the concept of virtual YouTubers who are real life people that use anime avatars to showcase their characters, you know? I've talked about it quite a few times on this channel and I'm finally adjusted to that concept that these people exist and flourish. But now I have to accept the idea that this concept can go even further by literally taking the human element out of the picture altogether. And honestly, I, I think I can do that, okay? Because it, it makes sense. It's escapism. We all read books or watch TV shows or fantasy or anime and we attach ourselves to things that aren't real but at the same time have real concepts and meanings behind it. Characters and actors from a movie, this concept isn't new, you know? What's specifically new about virtual influencers is that they're in a movie or a game or an anime all the time because they live in the real world. Which means you don't have to wait for a movie or a game to release to dive more into their character. You can literally check their Twitter or Instagram and just see their life updates. Now, I've watched enough cyber futuristic shows to know that this is 1000% going to be the future, okay guys? 100 years from now, I wouldn't be surprised if top music billboards contained virtual influencers or if shows or movies started casting these characters as if they're real people coming into a movie to act and not just, you know, CGI being drawn into the actual movie. Movie. Fantasy world is slowly mixing into the world of reality and there is a big business and profit to made during this transition. And I truly think that all of this is just the beginning of something un adamantly huge in the future. Anyway, that's all I have for this episode of Lay and Omni. You've just been laid. Moral of the story, don't give these virtual influencers money, okay? Give it to me. Because <laughs> I need it, okay? Not them. They're not real, so they don't get hungry, okay? They're good. But seriously, this is weird, right? Like, I keep using that word because, well, you know, that's how we describe things that we don't understand. But I get a strong feeling that all of this is going to be normalized over a short period of time. Like, I don't see how this is not going to be in our future, you know? Anyway, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the whole virtual influencer thing, okay? I do see what people mean when they suggest that it's kind of, like, potentially manipulative. And when you start to, you know, when you start showing actual empathy or sympathy for something that doesn't exist, but rather for an AI that is trying to, to generate revenue something about it makes you wonder you know but it is content and it is a service you know people pay more for less and as far as i know it's not hurting anybody so 
I don't know. Like I said, unpacking that would probably take quite a lot of time and we're all out of that for today. So guys, do me a favor if you enjoyed the video and the quick escape from today's craziness into another virtual world of craziness. Leave a like in the video, it would mean the world to me and subscribe if you haven't already, okay? I am not a virtual influencer, I am a human being. So unfortunately that means I won't be making as much money as them. But if you subscribe to me, that'll be enough to help push me just a little bit further and I'd really appreciate it. All right, I'm out, stay hydrated, drink your water. Oh, 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 and one more thing, one more thing, okay? I'm struggling to keep up with good topics or trending events so if you have twitter come through okay link is in the description below for real come through if you want your idea or subject or you know something that's going down that i don't know and you think it'll make for a great video come through follow and share it with me okay that'll help me to be better prepared and i can just keep pumping out these daily uploads for y'all all right i'll smell you later have a good one